Hello crafters, this is Lucy Kelleher, your independent consultant, and today I'm here to show you our September stamp of the month called Family is Forever. It can be found in our brand new annual inspirations idea book, which you can either um, purchase from your local close to my heart consultant. If you don't have a consultant, I would love for you to contact me and or uh, purchase it off of my website. Um, you will find the Family is Forever stamp set on page 13 of the book. And that's what it looks like in the book and a couple of projects to show you how to use that stamp set to give you some inspiration. Um, this stamp set, it has a set of seven images. And so I'll give you a little bit of a closer look. Here at the top it says, whoops, excuse me, Family is Forever, which is just a really lovely sentiment. Now you'll notice it's a very long sentiment you can because these are clear stamps and we have such good quality you can cut and separate the words and then you have some options then you can either stamp it all the way across you can layer it you can move it around the paper so i didn't know if you knew you could do that but it's really simple to do you just have to be careful you don't cut off any of the letters so that's your first image here's your second image this really cute tree a couple little hearts gathered right there a little flower circle so that's one two so one two three four the word love over here five the sentiment sweet moments here six and then this really cute heart that's got like a leaf inlay um, on it is seven now this heart I don't know if you can tell you there's like a little line around that heart that means that that image can be cut using one of our cartridges because the image uh, coordinates with it and on this particular stamp set I don't know if you can see that right there it's the artiste cartridge and right here on the carrier sheet it'll tell you cut you'll find this image on page 51 you'll cut it at one and three quarter inches and that way when you stamp this image you don't have to fussy cut anymore so that is the September stamp of the month family is forever what I'm also going to do for you today is normally I just show you the completed project that I made um, out of the book Today I'm actually going to show you a little bit of how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and create for you this Family is Forever pennant frame and I will talk you through it. Alrighty, so here is the pennant frame used in the project. And so as you can see it's all uh, ready cut out for you. There's even, this is almost like a little shadow box here if you can see the little indentation. So, what I'm going to do, oops, I got something stuck right there. Okay, there's a little paper stuck in there. Um, I inserted some glue dots in these four corners for when I put the back piece of paper in. So, what I did was, I have the, this is a designer paper from the Snow Haven paper pack. And when you hear Snow Haven, you think winter snow. But as you can see, even though this backside could come across maybe as snowflakes, you could use that for other projects. This is just a black background with glacier blue, excuse me, glacier blue dots. So we're going to use that. And you're going to cut it five and a half by five and a half. And then all I'm going to do, since I've put glue dots in the four corners, is slip it in. Like this, trying not to get it stuck before it needs to be. And then just push down the corners. And I have it in my background, right like that. Alrighty, then the pennants for the outside. The bottom layer was uh, made using our chalk it up paper. And it's this really pretty uh, kind of sorbet arrows. The other side is another print with arrows. So what I'm going to do is I use, cut that. Oh, it looks like I've got some ink on there for my pad. I cut this using our All Booking cartridge, page 76 of the cartridge. And you cut it at 9.5 inches from the, um, this paper. So here we go, page 76 of the cartridge. It's this 4x6 photo frame. Whoops. Right there. So I cut the first one at nine and a half. I cut the second one using paper from the seaside paper pack that we have. It's got this really pretty blue kind of textured background at nine inches and that's gonna fit right over. So all I'm gonna do 
is get my Tombow. Obviously, you can use whatever adhesive you like to use. Um, some people like to use, and I'm sorry, I just ran out. Um, some people like to use glue sticks, uh, ATG gun, um, you know, you name it, whatever works the best for you. I go back and forth between my Tombow refill or my Tombow thing and my glue pen. For this, because I just want to go fast because we're on camera, I'm just doing it that way, making sure I get each edge of it. Alrighty, so then this will just go right on top of the pennant, frame just like that, the little adjustments. Okay, how easy that was. So there's your first layer. My second layer, as I told you, is that seaside paper, cut it nine. What's really nice is when you cut these out on your art booking cartridge with your Cricut, this is the inside. So you're not wasting paper. You can use this as a frame or for sentiments or accents. So that was a really neat thing. So you can use those scraps again. I love reusing my scraps and not throwing them out. I've made some darling three by three mini cards just using scraps. So I like to recycle and reuse if at all possible. So this one again was done at nine inches. So that is going to go right over here and get it kind of centered. And there we go. So you see we've got that right there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bling. Now the project, if you remember, um, uses the black glitter, but I didn't have that, the little black sparkle flourishes, so I'm just going to use the clear ones, which is item number Z1812. It's this full sheet of them, and with this sheet you get six pieces. So that's what I'm going to use, but they're similar. So I'm going to use the pieces that they use on that. So all you do is, because it's adhesive, you just peel it off carefully because you want to make sure you don't leave anything behind. I'm just going to take it and kind of put it off like that. Okay, so I've got that down and then I have some chevrons um, which are going to go on there. So basically I took some of my scraps of the paper that I cut to make the pennant frames and I cut them at one and one eighth and one by one and a half and all you do to create that chevron, at least this is what I do to make it easy, I kind of lightly fold it in half and then just cut corner to corner and then you see you've got that cute little chevron nice and easy and it's even on both sides which when I would try to cut it the, a different way I would get them uneven so basically fold it in half cut at point and there you go you have your cute little chevrons so I'm going to go ahead and well, you know what let me get some of our foam tape to use because I think that'll be a little better in terms of lifting some of these elements so I'm getting our 3D foam tape we have two different sizes now um, we have our regular size, and then we have what's, a, what's called a thin foam, which is a little thinner, which will still give it some lift, but it won't um, lift it up too high, especially if it's something you're, you're adding to a card and you are going to be mailing it, you know, with postage nowadays. Um, sometimes it costs more to, uh, when you add all those heavy, heavier embellishments or raise it, so I'm just going to put some right there on the back, so this will be that color right there. And then I'll do the same with this one. I'll use the wider and just put one piece on it. Just like that, and our 3D foam tape, like all 3D foam tapes, um, has a little layer you peel off for the sticky on that side. So I'm just going to peel both of these off so I can figure out where at what angle I want to place this. See, I'm going to kind of go maybe right there. I'll take this one and right there for now until I see what I want to do. So I have those. Then I'm going to put on here the hearts that I uh, stamped. 
These are the hearts from that stamp set. You know, our family is forever. It's this heart. I cut it using the Artiste cartridge. So it cut it one and three quarters, like I said earlier in the video. And so one I stamped on the Glacier paper, one I stamped on the Sorbet paper, and that give you, gives us this background. Instead of having white in the back like you would if you stamped it on white, because I stamped it on color paper, that color shines through. So for those, I'm just going to use regular adhesive. And I'm going to kind of tuck it down right there. And then I'm going to do the blue. Put that maybe a little higher right there. Now again, you can use, in fact, I might put a little 3D foam on the back of that heart because it's kind of got a gap. Um, you're more than welcome to use as much or as little 3D foam tape as you'd like, but I think for this piece it kind of looks a little better right there, doesn't it? Alrighty, then I have the sentiment, Family is Forever. I cut the background, this is the background paper from Seaside, and I cut the paper at one and a quarter by five and three eighths. So one and a quarter by five and three eighths, I used black ink to stamp on there. And now what I'm going to do is, normally you could just glue it down directly to paper, but because we've lifted here, it would look funny because this will go flat and this will be elevated. So I'm going to use our 3D foam tape on this sentiment. So I just take some, cut it, I'm putting it right there kind of in the middle. Let's see here, we peel that off. So just a couple of strips, maybe two, three of them, maybe four depending on how, oops, this one's almost gone. Maybe four, depending on how far apart they are. Um, you'll tell when you start putting it on your project. So again, I've got those right there. So you'll see when it's up now. See how it's a little flatter? Looks a little better. It's not pushed down. So we'll peel off the backing from our double-sided tape. Okay. And then I'm just going to place it... So I don't want to cover too much of the hearts because the hearts are really cute. There we go. So we've got the family is forever there. And I'm also going to put a little bling like here in the corners. These are, are called our sparkles. And these are also uh, self-adhesive. So when you peel them off, make sure you peel the adhesive underneath. So I'm just going to peel off and put one here. Put one over here. See, because I've used this piece here and I've covered um, the bottom half of it, so I'm going to use these to kind of add a little bling right there. And then maybe, whoops, maybe I'll put one right here where the family. Oh my goodness, okay. Sometimes people use tweezers to stick these. There we go. So right there few little pieces and now I'm ready for my other sections okay so here in the back I've got a heart that I stamped using sunset all right so I'm going to take that put some adhesive on it and I'm just going to stick it in the back here like that then out of the stamp set there's this cute little flower that I was showing you earlier so I stamped it with black and I fussy cut it, right? So just a little bit around the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that or glue that, put it here in the corner. Oops. Maybe right about there. And then it looks like I neglected to do stamp one more thing. And it's the sweet sentiments um, image. So here's the sweet sentiments image. Here is one of our clear blocks, and I'm going to put a diagonal so that it's on edge. Now, because this is a brand new stamp set, you can see how clear that image is. Sometimes, um, because it's really sticky and it hasn't been used yet, when you go to stamp, you won't get a clear image um, because it won't pick up all of the ink. So what I do to season it, honestly, is I just take it like this and I rub it on my arm. I mean, I used to use like a white eraser and everything, and then, but then the, the white would get on the image. I don't know if you can tell now, but it's kind of 
a little cloudier right there. So all I'm going to do is grab some white cardstock. See, I, I actually, I practice with APTs. These are all of my scraps that I have. I have a bag of white and a bag of black because I use a lot of white and black. Then I'm going to get out my ink pad, ink up the image. Let's see here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. See how easy that is? Plus, you can see what you're doing through the uh, clear block. So, I'll close up that because I've, had, I've left these open and then been working and dropped a piece of paper down. I got ink all over it, which is really unfortunate. Then I'm going to actually cut this down. And in the project, it just says sweet. So what I'm going to do is first I'm just going to cut here. Cut a little off here. All right, so it doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be in the background. But what it is is it's on a little bit of that blue glacier cardstock. So let's see here. It um, looks like it's about two and an eighth by one and a quarter. So I'm going to cut some of this blue. So let's see here, two and an eighth by one and a quarter. So that means, let's see, we'll do one and a half. There we go. And let's see, it was two and an eighth, so we'll do two and three eighths. One, two, three. All right, so that gives me uh, equal border all around. I'm going to take my finger dauber or sponge dauber right here and using Glacier ink pad, which is the color of the paper, I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to edge the blue to give it a little extra dimension, especially since it's going to be inside the shadow box. And then I'm going to do the same with my sentiment. See, so right now, it's just a clear white and black image. So what I'll do is taking the dauber, I just go side on the side, adding a little bit of color. Right, so now when it goes on, it has a little more pop to it. All right, let me close this so I don't drop anything on it. Put my dauber away. Uh, let me see here, where's my adhesive? Take my adhesive, put that on top, okay, and then put a little more here. Then I'm going to take the whoops, project here, and I think I'm going to put it right about, I don't want to um, cover too much of this because the photo mat is going to go here. So I'll probably put it right about here. Put that flat. Let that go down. Then I have my photo mat. And I actually cut this, let's see here, at the Glacier cardstock, which is this blue, pretty blue. It's one of our new colors at four and a half by five and a half. I then took some white cardstock and cut it at four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And as you can see, I edged both the glacier and the white cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my adhesive on here. So I've got a little bit of frame. So the photo that I add, which I don't have right now because I can't quite figure out which one I want, I'll either make the photo, I'll cut it down to the white size, which is four and a quarter by five and a quarter, or I'll make it a little smaller so that the photo will be framed by both the white and the blue. So now let's see here, I'm gonna take this. I'm going to put glue, or excuse me, this tombow all over it, but then I'm also going to take some of the 3D foam tape and put it in the corners. Because I don't think I want to lift it a little bit off of the paper. And so this way I have two options. Um, if I don't like it, I'll peel that off. But I think that's what I'd like to do. So I have it in here. So I think I want to, let's see here if you can still see what I'm doing. 
as I put this in, I just slide it in like this. And yeah, you know what? I'm going to, so I would like to have the moments, sweet moments to show itself. So, and the reason I didn't put this piece in first is because I wanted to adhere this corner to see if I needed to adjust either the size of my photo frame um, or where I put the photo frame. So there you go. There is your pennant frame. All right, so you can see the sweet moments on the side, a little bit of color with the heart in the corner, the black flower. There, and then that's the project. That is on page 13 of our brand new annual inspirations book using our September stamp of the month family is forever which you can purchase for only five dollars with a qualifying purchase of 50 otherwise the stamp set is a 1795 stamp set if you do not have a consultant that you work with I would love to have you contact me or order off of my website I'll flash my information up on the screen so there you go cute little picture frame that can be stuck on the wall Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a wonderfully crafty day.